Do you have projects that require you to apply depreciation to them? If so, you're in luck because ExactMate makes using depreciation a snap. To start, let's go to the Parameters tab of the Claim Info window. Here, we can set the percentage of maximum depreciation, then set our depreciation to recoverable. Next, we'll select the method we want to use for default depreciation. We can select from a percentage, a flat amount, or the item's age or condition. For this example, let's use Age Condition. Now we click the Estimate menu and choose Estimate Items. Let's go to the kitchen and add some average grade tile. At this point, there is no depreciation applied to the tile. Let's click the tile line item to see its details. We can see that age condition is entered in the depreciation field, but there is no age recorded. Let's click the drop down button and select the date when the insured said the flooring was purchased. Now click OK. We see now that depreciation has been added to this flooring. In addition to age, we can also select a condition for depreciation if the condition is unusual for its age. Let's click the lower cabinetry, which is only three years old, and select Below Average. Now we click OK and see that depreciation has now been changed for the cabinetry. Even though we selected age condition as the default depreciation type, we can also depreciate by amount or percentage within the same estimate. When we go to the dining room, we'll depreciate the flooring by $200 and the paint by 12%. When we view the reports for this estimate, we can see the depreciation listed as part of the summary. And that's all there is to adding depreciation to line items in Xactimate. Subscribe to our channel. Click on the link in the description to complete a survey and let us know what you thought about the video.